Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I am going to be doing a unboxing in a graveyard. This is the Abominable Book Club box and I had to go all the way to my local post office pickup thing because the um, postman couldn't wait five seconds for us to open the, the door. So yeah, this is the October box this is the full guts version you can get the the bare bones which is just the books and the bookmarks but this is the books and all the other goodies as well i believe that this is also their anniversary box so it'll be interesting to see what they've put in it for that occasion for those of you who have no idea what the abominable book club box is it is a monthly subscription box over the, over here in the uk which is horror and thriller based you can also get this throughout the whole world they do post worldwide so i will have their website down below in case you want to check it out but yeah with all that out of the way let's just open this up and see what i have received also i think it's really cool that i'm doing an unboxing in a graveyard i nearly wasn't going to do this guys i nearly wasn't going to do it but i'm thinking okay i'm going to do it because it's probably going to be cool so yeah first look if i can open it up that is what we are dealing with for October and as always they've put all this in it and yes I will make sure that none of this gets on the ground and if it does I will pick it up so God, I do wish they would stop putting this stuff in this box so they have the um, the uh, blind book which I will open up last they have got the bookmarks which is the abominable book club bookmark this is their branded one and they have a short story on it by the what well, were one of the owners which i'm pretty sure this is owen the writing and the um color of this is usually orange but they've had it purple for some reason in this box never mind it's still nice and they've also had a, another bookmark uh which appropriate for where I am it has tombstones on it so that's the um, reverse side um, which has the abominable book club thing on it and on this side it has just imagine the horrors they would give us if they were with us today and then it has EAP uh, please no wrapping on my chamber door oh that's Edgar Allan Poe I didn't know that uh, M Shelley which is Mary Shelley um, Ed, um, Ed, um, Howard Howard Phillips La, um, La, um, La, Lovecraft which I didn't know that that was his full name and then it has Abraham Stoker which I presume is um, the real name of Bram Stoker so yeah that was actually really cool so yeah they're they're like gravestones so yeah they've given us a new book and it's funny that they've given me this one because when i went into my local bookshop or well one of my favorite bookshops up in london i was looking at the horror section as i usually do and i saw this one and i was thinking okay that actually looks, looks really cool but i pull it back thinking that they would send it to me and they have and that is my heart it's a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I am pretty sure that he is the author that wrote uh, the um, Good Indians book, which I am pretty sure I have on my Kindle. So yeah, this is really cool. Uh, not sure what this is about. Let me just read the back. So as far as I can tell, this book is about a girl called Jade Daniels who is half Indian and because of that reason she has been shunned by her community and um, she's really into horror as well um, so that's really cool um, she does like a horror essay on horror films so that's really interesting and yeah also has always kind of like cool rips on the side of the pages so that's and like a nice added detail that the author put in and also when i was looking in it this thing came out so i presume that this is their signed book plate so that's 
awesome. That's kind of like an added thing that the that these guys have put in their box. Oh, I like this one. It's Hell. It's um Hellraiser, and instead of the cube, he's actually got the Rubik's cube. So that's that's awesome. I really like that. Really, really cool. Got some snacks, which are milk chocolate ginger biscuits. I border beautifully craft, beautifully crafted biscuits if I can talk. So that's awesome. I remember they sent me some of these once before, not these, but another flavour. But I ended up really liking them, so yeah, these will go down the tree. As always, they have put the spoiler cards at the bottom, or pretty much near the bottom. So, oh yeah, and it is their anniversary on because it has the October an um, anniversary 2021 thing on the top. So, yeah, not sure how this makes it the um, anniversary box, but yeah, see how it goes. They might have something a bit more special in this for, for me. Uh, I do wish they would have something else rather than these little bits and pieces in this box because they because because it's like sand they do get everywhere but we've got another book here called six rooms by Gemma Omar I like the cover it looks like a drawing and on the back it has a skull really awesome like an independent unknown author I'm not sure what else Gemma had actually wrote before but yeah this looks interesting is there a picture of her in the back yes there is that's the author herself so let's just is there a synopsis there's nothing on the back so how are you supposed to know what this is about yeah there's nothing in here that tells you what the book is about uh, yeah, I don't know if this is a short story collection or if it's a novel and if it is a novel I don't know what it's about but I'll be interested to read this anyway and figure out what exactly it is now we come to the bag of drinks so let's see what they've given me probably another one of them god awful coffee bag things them tea them coffee bag tea things and yes they have bless the cotton socks uh, I hate these things, I really do, but yeah, they're over, I suppose. I think I'm getting used to them. I've had them for like a few times now and I'm just getting used to them. They're still disgusting, don't get me wrong, but I'm still getting, but I'm just getting used to them. Giving me some tea bags, the off black tea, which is the black tea, which I like these tea bags. They're really good quality and they're really cool and they're really nice ones. Got a green tea, off, you know, the um, off black tea as well. The, um, Aero or um, Aero hot chocolates. That was cool. That, 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 I mean, this is nice. I like this one. I think I had that last time as well. And as always, the cappuccino unsweetened, which I had this in all the boxes, so I know what this is. So let's just get to the blindly wrap book. Now this isn't a new book like the Stephen Graham Jones book and the Gemma Omar book, which are brand new books. Uh, this is a second-hand book and every box has something different in it so not everyone will get the same book so I do not have my scissors with me where I usually cut the string so this will be interesting okay so I've managed to get the string off and this is what it is it is Tales of Mystery and the Macabre by Elizabeth Gaskell I've never heard of that author before if you have just let me know if she's any good or not and uh, yeah uh, don't know what to make of this tells the mystery and the supernatural okay so this is a anthology or a short story collection and yeah uh, once again I have no idea what to expect because I have never read or even heard from about this author so yeah I have no idea 
what to make of these stories. There are several ones in here. The um, old nurse's story, the squire story, the, the um, poor Claire, Lois the witch, the doom of the Griffiths, the ghosts in the garden room, the grey woman, Churis, if true, and disappearances. Um, if you have heard about them stories or if you've read any of the ones I've just read, uh, let me know if they're any good. Oh yeah, not sure what to make of this, but yeah, I will get to this one at some point. So that's it guys, that is the Abominable Book Club for October of 2021. I've got all bits down my trousers now, so I have to make sure that I don't leave any rubbish behind. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Comment down below, let me know if you've read any of these books or if you've heard of any of these authors before. Let me know what you thought about this box. If you have any questions about the Abundable Book Club subscription box, let me know down below and I will try my best to answer any of your questions. If you have enjoyed this video as a whole, please consider subscribing to my channel and if you do, please click on that bell as it will remind you whenever I upload videos which are every Monday and Friday. I will also have a link down below to my Goodreads account in case you want to follow me on Goodreads and see what I'm currently reading or message me or whatever. And with all that out of the way, have a great day, read some awesome books and I will see you all in my next video.